Hi there, I'm Adrian Salisbury from the Pro Video Academy and in my Facebook feed the other day was an advert for Clipscribe. Had a quick look at it, thought it would be interesting, so I've bought it and I've taken it for a test run and I'd just like to give it a run through and show you here what I think to it. Now part of the reason this caught my eye when it came up as an advert is that one of my customers on a support call just recently was saying to me, how did you put that timer on? I ran a series of some two minute videos just to put onto Facebook that I could then retarget people that had watched part of those videos. He'd seen them and was asking me how I'd made them, how you put the black bar top and bottom as you can see here, and how I put that timer in. Well. I'm quite handy in Final Cut Pro and uh, it's a clunky way of doing it but I'd made it and I didn't really want to try and explain it to him and I thought there's got to be an easier way and then sure enough as it happens this advert appears in my Facebook feed and I thought perfect it's almost as if someone's been listening to me. And so here it is this is Clipscribe and I want to be able to show you how I can recreate that same advert by bringing it into here. So I've taken out the timer that I'd already got in that advert, we've taken out the top and bottom, and I'm just gonna bring in that file. So as you can see, I've played around and I've done one down here already. So this is literally the second one that I've had a go at. Grab my file, let's pull it in from desktop there. Uh, it's asking me which way around is my, let's give it a title first. So this is, um, don't need a studio. Um, yes, it's a horizontal, submit that. Now this is uploading, so I'm gonna skip over and come back when that's in. Now that's taken three or four minutes and it's almost in. Now what I do recommend is you use Handbrake and shrink down the size of that file first of all. If you don't know Handbrake, uh, check out the link below, it's totally free. It's an incredibly powerful bit of software that you download to your computer and it will just shrink that size down. Right, looks like that's in. Obviously, if you're on a better internet connection than me, then that would have been quicker. Right, that's now just going through and it's creating the subtitle. So it automatically puts together for me a transcript from what it's hearing me say in the video. It's one of the powerful features of this, but I have to say, and we'll find out in a minute, it's not very accurate and that is true with any of these automated systems. If you do YouTube or Facebook and let their automated uh, system actually try and put the text in for you, they usually don't give you a great result. If you do want a good result then I use Rev.com and it's actually a physical person who's the other side of it who's typing that in and transcribing for you and I believe it's only about a dollar a minute. Why are we bothered about transcribing and having subtitles in there? Because about 70 or 80% of people will watch your videos without the sound on. Crazy, but true. Maybe they're sitting in bed or they're, you know, they're meant to be listening to their wife <laughs> and um, they're just quietly watching this and they'll read it um, when they're not listening to you. So it really does pay to do this and certainly if it's only a one, two minute video, uh, it doesn't take long to sort this out. There we go, I've got an email, but actually I'm sure if I refresh this page, there's my video. Now, this is a two minute video and that was the whole point, is it's a quick, you know, this is two minutes. I wanted to be able to do that so it would work for Instagram and for Facebook. But let's have a look at this. So now it's telling me um, that it's ready to go. So let's click on it. Which format do I want? So. What we're creating is one that's, you know, we want the full size, we want that 16 by 9 aspect of the video, but then we're going to put a border top and bottom to make it square. As you can see, you've got other options here, are different ways that you can use that. But this is our one, so we're going to click on that first of all. And in it comes. So let me bring up over the top of here, this is the original video that I ran. Um, and let's just try and copy that text in from it. So you don't need a studio to make videos like this. I'll push that slightly off. Okay, we can change this background around. So I just got that as black. So right down here, we'll choose that. Then we're gonna add some text to this. You don't need a studio. We were bright yellow. Uh, let's
let's change this around. I think it was probably just an open sans. That's fairly close. There you go, let's have a go. Let's take this one. You don't need a studio. And it does actually seem to snap. I'm not quite sure when I let go of that, it just sort of finishes positioning it. I'm not quite sure what it's snapping to. Um, you don't need a studio to make videos like this. So let's add another text layer. Um, so let's copy. So that was And this one will have white. Let's grab that and bring it down. So you don't need a studio to make videos like this. So that bit, dead easy. Um, now the bottom here is already pre, so I'd got that coming in. I'd got my logo at the bottom. So we can jump across, this is the logo. Grab my logo, bring it in. Um, oh, it's already in here. I can take it to the bottom there and just increase the size of it. I think that's where I'd got it, sitting along the bottom. So it doesn't, again, unfortunately, it doesn't sort of seem to snap in, especially with this being a, a, a logo. I think with that text at the top, it, it felt like it was snapping to something. Um, but the logo, I I don't know. So I'm purely doing this by eye. That would be a nice feature to add. And then the text in here is already sorted. So this is the CC. What I was advised to do, I watched the, the tutorial videos in here, first of all, it does just say to keep saving it because it doesn't do an auto save at the minute. Um, so I can then come on to CC down here and um, here it goes. So. So because I'd done it off of a teleprompter, it wasn't too hard for me to take my original script and just keep copying and pasting in, but it feels a bit slow and clunky, I appreciate. Now I don't know if I can change the style around of this, it doesn't look like I can. Um, I think I just have to run with what it is. Right, so there's the first bit. Academy, use a spare room. I could rarely more than three meters across. In this video, I want to demonstrate to you the range of options that you have and how easily you could create something just like this. So again, it, it would be nice really, I would be knocking it off of there and adding it onto this one. I'm not sure whether I get to Retime it, it doesn't look like. So there we go, so I'd like to put that pretty cool. I gotta say, this is a lot better than the previous one that I did. So at any point in here, you can press play. Um, and pause it. What I find a little bit frustrating, well I do find it frustrating, is that it seems to, it's, it's quite hard to keep hold of. It jumps away with you and it's a little bit... Um, I do need a flash studio. No, check out these students. Right, I'll finish the rest of this off. You don't need to be painfully going through this. Right, let's save that again. So there it is. Um, lower case on there as opposed to here, but that's not a problem at all. Uh, let's come back to that. So I can pick this text up and I can just move that up a bit. I can, I'm not sure where it's gone. Definitely I looked at that and I adjusted the size of it. Text block, text block, top bar, subtitle. This might have been it. Yes, there it is. Right, so I can adjust it there. Um, I can adjust the space that it's in. I can adjust the font size if I want. Um, hopefully that will work and I can, okay, I can adjust the font of that. 
um, but it does look like it's all up a case, interesting. Right, I'm gonna save that again. Now the main thing that Mike wanted was to be able to have a timer. So I can actually put, um, there's different ways I can do this. I can just drop one of these onto here. And that will sit in the corner. I could turn it into a bar so I can have one of these in here. I'm doing that, I think you just need to click it and it appears. So I could do it like this and it'll be a bar that will work its way along. Um, don't want that, let's go back. I like the block, I think we'll just have this in. So if I tick that up there and I tuck it into that corner, that will just play away. Save. My logo, I've already put down the bottom here. So actually that is ready to go. And what I now need to do is hit make and it will make it. And again, in the background, this is going through. It does say there it could take up to 10 minutes. So why do we do this? Why are we bothering? Um, we want people to watch our videos, obviously. So having that little timer in there just does keep people. It makes them think, okay, I've kind of got this far. It's coming to an end soon. Um, let's watch this through. The subtitles, as I say, do make a difference because people will read along and they will stay longer and without even realizing it maybe, they're reading along with you who wouldn't have watched it at all if they'd have just seen this silent person moving around on screen. The fact that we've made it into a square like this really helps when someone is scrolling through Facebook and instead of it being a smaller landscape image, it's now suddenly taking up more of that space because most people are sitting watching it on their phone as they're scrolling through. So great idea um, and a great system for doing it. For me, with the internet speed, it does take a little bit longer like this. But at $45 for a year, that's a pretty cheap subscription. And when I've got customers who are you know, just getting used to all the camera kit and all the tech and sorting that out, they really don't wanna spend ages doing all the editing, but they do wanna have these cool effects and transitions and things. So having that countdown timer, being able to quite quickly be able to put the text in if you hadn't got a script to start from, and it saves you getting into Final Cut or a Adobe Premiere or whatever other software you'd need to do this, we can actually do it online. Now this would take a long time if this was a 10 minute video. This is taking a long time to do, and this is a two minute video, and it's been shrunk down to start with. So you just gotta know these things, but that's already quarter of the way through while I'm sitting here chatting. So yeah, while well, that's coming to an end and almost wrapping up over there, um, what do I think? Yeah, I think it's a really good tool. It's a great idea. It's definitely, you know, someone's looked at the market here and gone, ah, oh, that's something people are trying to do. How can we make it easier? Uh, so full marks on that. And it does constantly say through Clipscribe, there's little banners that come up saying, this is new, you know, tell us, give us your feedback. They know that there are glitches and things in there, stuff that could be made better. So really I've got nothing to moan about. It's fairly intuitive. I like the way it logically takes you through these settings in this tab. There are a few things that would be cool, like I say, to be able to just shrink the size, spacing and things like that, to have a little snap so it locks in and I know that it's in the center. But these are things that can easily be added in upgrades. So there it is, it's ready for me to go. I can hit download or I can save it over to Dropbox. It's down, let's open it up. So there they go, there it is on the left, that's the one we've just made. On the right is the one that I've made previously that we were trying to copy. Actually, I think I prefer the timer in Clipscribe to the one that was there in Final Cut Pro. Text isn't bad for being bold. I could change that font around. So check that out, there's a link below, and um, yeah, I definitely will be recommending this to my students. For more reviews and other videos, please do subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or a thumbs down if you didn't, and let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Thanks ever so much, see you in another video.